On busy weekdays, grab-and-go breakfast options are essential. But come the weekend when you have a little more time on your hands, it's nice to indulge in a little homemade breakfast treat. Today, I want to show you one of my all-time favorite breakfasts. It's breakfast hash, three delicious ways. I'm going to show you my yummy bacon cheddar breakfast hash, a sweet and savory sausage, apple, and potato breakfast hash, and finally, a Southwestern sweet potato breakfast hash that you are going to love. Just before I get to all of these yummy recipes, I wanna remind you to head over and check out a brand new episode of Mobile Meal Makeover over on Kin Community. The new episode airs today. So let's get started with our bacon cheddar hash. So we are getting started today with some russet potatoes. Now I love yellow potatoes and red skin potatoes, but if you want a really crispy, tasty hash, the secret is using starchy russet potatoes. All you wanna do is give it a good peel and then cut it into cubes. Now we're going to be parboiling our potatoes to help speed up the cooking process. If you wanted to, you could also put them in the microwave for two or three minutes instead. Once your potatoes are ready, you wanna drain them really well and set them aside. Next, we are going to heat up a frying pan on the stove and fry up some bacon. All I'm going to do is cook off three or four slices of bacon that I've just given a rough chop to. Once the bacon's cooked, you can use a slotted spoon to remove it from the pan, and then what we're going to do is fry up our potatoes in all of that yummy bacon fat. Now, if you did not want to use bacon in this recipe and you wanted to keep it vegetarian, that is no problem. You could totally fry your potatoes in a combination of butter and oil. You want to use some oil because you don't want your butter burning. We're going to pour our potatoes into our hot frying pan and season them with some salt and some pepper. Now it's just a matter of letting them cook until they brown on all sides. You want to give your potatoes a stir every two to three minutes to prevent them from burning. Once your potatoes are golden and crispy on all sides, you can add your bacon back to the pan and then top it with some green onion for flavor. We're also going to top this with some yummy shredded cheddar cheese because hey, what isn't made better by shredded cheddar? And we're going to finish it all off with a beautiful fried egg. How glorious does that breakfast look? Next up, we've got our sweet and savory sausage and apple breakfast hash. How amazing does that sound? So I've got some oil heating up in my frying pan and to that I'm going to add some yellow onion and some breakfast sausage that I've just removed from the casing. Now I'm using pork sausage. You could definitely do this with chicken or turkey sausage instead if you prefer. All you're going to do is use the side of your spoon to break your sausage into little bits and cook it until it is no longer pink. Once your sausage is cooked, you're going to scoop all of that goodness into a bowl and set it aside. Next, in the very same skillet, we are going to cook up some chopped green apple and our parboiled russet potatoes. You wanna make sure you're stirring your potatoes every two to three minutes so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. And in the meantime, we are gonna get started on a really simple but really delicious sauce. So all I've got in a small bowl is some ketchup. To that, I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar for a little bit of acidity, and then some fresh thyme leaves for flavor. We're going to whisk this all together really well, and then we are going to return our onion and our sausage back into our frying pan and top it with this yummy sauce. We're going to stir this all together and then let it cook for another two to three minutes. Once it's all come together, you can dish it out with a beautiful fried egg. Finally, I'm excited to show you my favorite hash. It's my spicy Southwestern sweet potato hash, and it is to die for. It all starts with some sweet potatoes that I've just peeled and chopped, and I wanna parboil these the very same way I did with my russet potatoes. But you wanna make sure you're not overcooking your sweet potatoes. I find four to five minutes at a boil is plenty because you don't wanna end up with sweet potato mush in your frying pan. Next up, we are going to heat some oil in our nonstick frying pan, and to that we are going to add some chopped red onion and some chopped red pepper. We're going to saute these until they soften up about three to four minutes, and to this we are going to add our beautiful sweet potato that I've drained really well. We're going to fry all this up until our sweet potatoes get a golden brown color and start to caramelize, and then we are going to add even more yummy flavor to this. So I'm starting by seasoning it with some salt and some pepper, and to that, I'm going to add some garlic powder, some chili powder, and some ground cumin. I'm going to finish all of this off with a finely chopped chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. Now, if you're not familiar with chipotle peppers, they are very flavorful, very smoky, and they do pack some heat. So if you're not into the heat, you can leave the pepper out. That is totally fine. We're going to stir this all up and let it cook for an additional 30 seconds, 
And then we are going to add our black beans that I've just rinsed and drained and some fresh cilantro. Look at this beautiful stuff. It is good enough to eat. And of course, best served just like all the others with a yummy fried egg. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchen. And for another amazing hash recipe, be sure to head over to Kin Community for a brand new episode of Mobile Meal Makeover. It airs today. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.